Sue from Grateful Journals and today we're going to talk about changing margins. Now the reason that you would most likely want to change a margin is because your journal is going to have more pages than normal. So if you're going over 150 pages then I would suggest making a larger margin. Um, when the, you purchase the templates from us the margins are set at half an inch and the next size up, I would suggest going to 0 0.75 or three quarters of an inch. If you go in even higher in page length, then you may even want to do a wider margin at one inch, as if you think the thicker the book, the more when you turn the pages, they don't lay as flat. So you need that extra room so people can write in it and so that they still look centered on the page. Now in PowerPoint, margins are actually known as guides. Now to find them, you come up to the view tab and then you'll see under show it says guides with the check mark. If we remove that, then all the guidelines disappear on the template. So you want to make sure first of all that you can see the guidelines. Now to move them, simply put your cursor in the gray section on top of the guidelines so you get the double headed arrow and then you're just going to change them. So if we want to go three quarters of an inch, we're going to pull it in another quarter of an inch. And the same on this side. Okay, so now, and then you, if you want to change top and bottom, you can, but usually it's the left and right margins that you have to worry about the most. Now, now you'll see that the content box is outside the margin, so we need to fix that. Okay, so pretty much all you do is just drag it in both sides to fit onto the guidelines. Now this box is all one piece. If you have a box that's made up of maybe two or three boxes, you're going to have to move each box separately. Okay, and again too, we just pull everything in. And then we pull everything in here. Okay, and then let's just see if we can zoom in a little bit. So we can zoom in and the things that you want to check for, because we've made the box smaller, check to see if any of the words have moved. Um, you know, so like this before, if we went any smaller than this E is going to pop down underneath. So you'd have to just change the text size on there. So just make sure that everything is where you want it to be. Okay, this one's still over the margin just a little bit. So let's just bring it back in. Okay, and then you've got your template that's ready to go. And this one here is as well. You know, so when you when you zoom in a little bit, you can just see those those little bit um, extras, and then you can just change them. Okay, so that's everything is there. Okay, let's just change the view back to a hundred. Okay, so now you've got the template. Sometimes you may have to move the, um, some of the graphics down or you either shrink it by just pulling the corners in a little bit um, or just, you know, move it over as well. Now, if you want to keep them the same size, then make sure that you've got the picture highlighted. Go to picture format and then you can see the height and width here, 83 by 83. So then just click on the other one and make sure that they're both the same dimensions. Then, you know, th they're both the same size. Okay, so when you're ready um, with the template, you can either export it as a uh, PDF or you can save it as a JPEG, however you want to um, upload it. Okay, so that's some quick and easy tips on how to change your margins in PowerPoint. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you.